we have a parallel plate capacitor and in first case keeping the charge constant the distance between the plates is increased from x1 to x2 and in second case we have kept the voltage constant and increased the plate distance from x1 to x2 so here the charge is constant so this is an open circuit and here the voltage is constant so there must be a battery which is keeping the voltage constant we need to find the external work needed to pull these plates apart right the external force needed to pull these plates apart that work done we need to find so in first case because the there is no work done by the battery work external is simply change in potential energy and here the work is done on the system by the external force and the battery as well so here the gain in potential energy is work done by external forces plus work done by battery so we need to find work external in both the cases so the formulas are going to be different so here delta u is quite simply final potential energy minus initial potential energy of the capacitor so half q square by c2 minus half q square by c1 c2 we can write as s epsilon by x2 and c1 will be s epsilon by x1 which gives our answer second case work external is equal to delta u minus work done by battery so delta u we will write in the form of half cv square why because v is given in this problem in b part in first part they had given the charge q so we were getting the values in terms of q so we were writing the potential energy in terms of q here the v is given so we are going to write everything in terms of v so delta u is half c2 minus c1 v square and work done by battery is delta q into v so how much charge has passed through the battery so initially it was c1 v so eventually it becomes c2 v so delta q into v is c2 v minus c1 v so uh, yeah so c2 v minus c1 v into v right c2 minus c1 into v square so this so it will come to be this minus half s epsilon v square 1 by x2 minus 1 by x1 so we'll take the minus inside and get our answer so in both the cases you can see the external work needed to pull the plates apart is positive what about work done by the battery is that positive or negative it is negative because c2 is smaller than c1 what is capacitance a epsilon by d and later the distance between them is more so c2 is less than c1 so work done by the battery is negative so charge has flown in the other way around sorry yeah this way around all right